Hey, it's Tony Fonte, how you doing? Today I'm gonna to talk to you and I'm gonna share with you a story of an awareness I just recently had um, about being afraid to be at my worst. I'm gonna share with you and dive in deep to where it came from. First, how I noticed it, um, and then wh where I became aware of it and how, how I began releasing that processing it to be able to do this video with you all. Stay tuned. <music> All right, welcome back. Let's dive into the story. Let's dive into this awareness I had about being afraid to be at my worst. So the past two months, I've been in this heavy shadow work. The universe is just pushing me through, bringing these old patterns, these old way of living to an end. And, and oftentimes, at least it's been this way for me, I, and I have had plenty and plenty, plenty, plenty of things coming to an end and they were coming to a head all at once. And for the last two months, I've been going through a lot of heaviness, um, especially in, in, in relationships, and, and it's been me, and I've had so many, many awarenesses come up, some that I've gone deeper on that I've already been aware of, some that they're going deeper into something I already have, but now it's going deeper. And this is one of those things of, of feeling, being afraid of being at my worst. And you know, I had this history of when I, in my other relationships and just growing up that um, I didn't like when I was at my worst, I didn't like when my shadow was showing up. I didn't like because I had no control of it. I had no control over my emotions because I wasn't feeling my emotions. I wasn't, the only thing I felt was, you know, cry here and there, but you know, I was, I felt anger. That's, that's all I knew. I felt anger or happiness, but I didn't have any much in between. And it would just go back and forth. And it was so volatile and it was so painful. And I had this just, and it goes all the way back to childhood where I, I see this dynamic, but I didn't want to be at my worst, that I believed that I had to be in my light. I had to be the fun guy. I had to be in just in my power, in the, the divine masculine and have this balance constantly of the divine masculine and divine feminine. And I couldn't show my shadow side too much. Like I could share some shadow stuff, but I couldn't be in it that long because I felt that if I was in my shadow too long, that uh, my partner would reject me. People, my friends would reject me. That I had to like hurry up and get through whatever I was getting through and then get back to that light, get back to that fun loving person, get back to having fun and laughing through life. And, and, and what I found is as I was in the shadow for less, especially the last two months, I'm trying and trying and trying to push and push and push to get through that shadow to get through for one it was extremely painful and then what i was doing by trying to control that i was making it and creating more creating more chaos in my mind creating more chaos in my body which are then triggering each other and then there was just this chaos and confusion and lack of clarity and i didn't know what to do and i kept fighting and i'm struggling and and i'm like shit should i do this should i do that and i'm like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know and it's like ah and all along when I finally sat still and I learned to begin sitting still and I began to feel what I was feeling without judging it, without trying to force it away, without trying to control it, without trying to overthink it, without trying to overanalyze it, without trying to, to find something to help me release it. I remember sitting back and being able to observe my thoughts as I was feeling it. And I remember saying, I gotta hurry up and get through this. My partner's gonna reject me. She's gonna leave. She's gonna think I'm weak. Because here I am struggling. And because I'm struggling, I'm not safe. I'm not safe to be around. I'm not safe to be with in order to be this. And I had this, 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 this belief, unconscious belief that I had to, in order to be strong and to be that safety for her, even friends, family, even for you, the community, it's like, I have to be at peace all the time. And there's another story as I went deeper into that that, that I'll share with you why I also felt that 
like I was responsible for everybody else. And knowing that if my partner left, it's not, it's not me, she's not rejecting me, not rejecting my shadow. That, that's her own stuff. Friends, that's, that's their own stuff. Anybody watching that, that, that rejects, that's their own stuff, it has nothing to do with me. But this is what I felt. I felt that I was in it too long, that I had no control over me. That they were gonna leave, that they were gonna reject me. And then I realized there's a lot of that from childhood too. And obviously as I'm sitting here, all this emotion is coming up. I also am learning that I, I am a, an emotional being. I'm here to feel, and I'm here to allow myself to feel. I realized that I felt that I couldn't be myself as a kid. I had to change a lot of things as a kid. I felt like something was wrong with me. And because I was so angry for so many years, I felt something was wrong with me. And what was really was going on, it's not that other people are rejecting me. I'm afraid of other people rejecting me. It's because I was rejecting my own shadow. I was rejecting what it means to be a divine masculine. I was rejecting what it really means to be strong. And truth be told, strength comes from being able to feel through that, to be able to express that, to be able to sit with it. Because a king, he can go through a hero's journey. And his partner, those around him are going to accept him right in there. And the right people, the right partner is go are going to see that. They're going to accept all of you. All of you the light and the dark. And they're gonna see the truest, highest form of you. And they know that when you go through the shadow that you're going and you're shedding away part of that old self. You're going into the cocoon and you're becoming mush and coming out this beautiful butterfly. And each time you just go through. But in order to do that, you have to accept your shadow. You have to accept not only when you're in your light and you're at your best, to accept when you're at your worst. And knowing that other people, your partner, they're going to accept you at your worst and your best. And it's okay to feel all of it. And the only reason you feel and you're projecting this, this this lack of safety that they're not going to feel safe around you because you don't feel safe within yourself because you're not accepting all parts of you. You gotta accept all parts of you in order to fully open to the partnership, to the intimate relationships, to, to friendship relationships which are intimate in a different way, to business, to everything. You have to accept all parts of you And it's okay to be at your worst. Because soon enough, you'll be at your best again. But the awesome thing is, is you won't be at the level that you were once at. You'll be at a new level, at a higher version of yourself. Your shadow is your ally. I just wanna remind you again, it's okay to be at your worst. And I'm speaking back to myself as I feel that in my body. It's okay to be at your worst. Accept all of you. Love all of you. And others will love you too. They're just a mirror reflecting back how you feel about yourself. What you believe to be true about yourself. What you believe that you deserve. And when you shift that, which is easily done, just letting go of the old story, embracing who you are, embracing all of you. In the outside world, 
will magically reflect it back. I would love to know what part resonated with you, where you may feel, what stories came up for you as you, you, you felt the energy from me, you felt the emotion from me as I started sharing the being afraid of being at my worst. What came up for you? If you're watching this, it's meant for you anyway. I'd love to hear from you. I would love to hear what you felt what stories came up from you and how you were able to release and begin accepting all of you so that you can move forward in your intimate relationships and in your relationships and knowing that you can let go and how fucking free it is to be able to let go of the pressure of that, knowing that you're not responsible for that anyway, that you are free to be you no matter what. No matter what. All right, if you'd love to learn more about this work, being able to, to awaken your genius, to really raise your vibrations, awaken your genius so that you can finally be you and then manifest the life of your dreams. I know that might sound cliche, but really that's what it is. It's about awakening your genius, who you really truly are, and then living life as that, free, laughing through life, to be able to manifest the life of your dreams, but not only the life of your dreams, but the life of your dreams that is exciting and fun. And to be able to have fun and to have a community of people who are like-minded, doing the same thing, on the journey, cheering you on, that I would love to invite you to learn more and join the Awaken Your Genius program, the community. You find a link below. I can go into details now, but that's just longer than it needs to be. You can find all the details in that link below if you want to learn more, if it resonates with you. If not, stay tuned for the next episode of the Laughing Through Life show. Love y'all.